for thinking that November is all about putting your feet up in front of a cosy fire, eating some really nice roast dinners and pretending that Christmas isn't on the horizon. But if you're anything like me and you're mildly obsessed with your allotment plot or your vegetable garden and if you can navigate through the wind and the rain and the storms and the early nights drawing in that November likes to welcome us with, well there's plenty of jobs that you can do to give yourself more success for next year's growing season. If you haven't done already, consider hitting the subscribe button to follow along with where Graham grows. I've got a couple of hours free this morning, so I've whacked on me muddy boots. Do you know, when I first got the allotment plot a couple of years ago, I used to come down here in my best white trainers. That only happened a couple of times. Today's plan is to cover my raised beds that I've got outside with organic matter. All my raised beds on my allotment plot are no dig. I'm not going to go into details of that, but if you Google or YouTube Charles Dowding, you can find out a lot about that topic. But for today's jobs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some weeds out of these beds and then I'm going to whack on a load of manure, take them as high as I can, and then just let them rot down over winter. So you're probably thinking to yourself, Graham, what tools am I going to need for this sort of job? Well, let me take you further down my allotment plot and I'll show you what we're going to use. Come for me, one of the most important things when you're doing jobs like this is getting some gloves on, get sort of contact with dermatitis or whatever it is, but I tend to get a lot of dry skin on my hands, so always put your gloves on to keep your little pinkies in good shape. I'm going to get something to collect the weeds. I'm just going to grab a, a flower pot for that. Your fork, manure. Manure, got my manure fork, my manure fork. And let me tell you guys, this has been one of the most valued things that I've ever bought on the allotment plot and I'll explain a little bit later when we get down to the uh, piles of manure down there but I really love this fork and then now it's time to re it's time to reunite myself with an old favorite on the channel and those of you that have been subscribed for a while will know exactly what I'm going to do now but <sighs> hello Wendy she hasn't been used for a while. She's just been sitting up there on the corner. Do you know, she did have a name on the side, but it's, oh, it's come off with all the weather. I'll have to put it back on, but good old Wendy. She's a bit of a rust bucket, if you pardon the pun. She's really good though. It's been a while since I've done a few jobs like this as well. Without further ado, let's dig in if one pardons one's pun and in typical fashion as i said it's just started to rain but that's not going to stop me because it's only a bit of rain isn't it so the rain really isn't going to give in is it so we're just going to carry on anyway but as i've been coming down here i've been thinking there's more and more jobs to do in november on the allotment plot so i might run this out into sort of like a three or four part series over november but <laughs> here we are at the manure take a look here's our horse manure pile that we've got here on our allotment plot site and i know what you're thinking this is just the best youtube content ever looking at horse manure on a rainy day in an allotment plot in Warwickshire. And I know this is what gets you excited as well, but this sort of pile of horse manure is actually quite low for what we have on our allotment plot. Normally, it's kind of covered all the way over here and all the way back, so we are running low. I think it's because a lot of people are kind of doing this thing throughout November, covering over their beds for winter time. Look how kind they are down our allotment plot site. They put a fork here, which stands proud, just in case you get all the way down it and forget your fork, which is something that I've done quite a few times. So one thing is with getting the manure when it's really wet, it is like twice as heavy, but look how gorgeous this manure is. Come and look. You see, look, there's absolutely loads of worms in here as well. Look at them all. I mean, it's not exactly rotted down that well, but that doesn't really matter because over the winter, those worms are just going to draw everything down into the soil and just create a wonderful organic lush mess of 
stuff. And look at Mr. Worm here, he can't wait to get going in my raised bed. now it's absolutely thriving lots of worms look at those so without further ado i'm going to go and get a second load of manure and i'm going to whack it down on this bed so i'll see you back at the bed when the manure is laid you know me and wendy I've had some pretty good times over the past couple of years. I was just wheeling her down there, ready to get this second load of manure in her. I came up with a song that I might put together this month about Wendy. The first verse, and honestly, if you unsubscribe now, I don't mind, but it's what goes through my mind when I'm doing this sort of stuff. Wendy, I know you're not very bendy, but you lend me a helping hand. Wendy, I know you're not very bendy, but you lend me a helping hand. And just as I start singing, it starts raining again. I, don't know, I think I'm losing the plot. So that's two of those beds done. One thing I have learned though on the allotment plot, a couple of years in, is just to do little bits at a time. You can't do everything. I mean, I have got more raised beds that need manure putting in and organic matter and stuff but I'm not going to do that today I'm quite happy with just getting them two raised beds done I suppose the sooner I get the organic matter on the more it can kind of get stuck in with the existing compost and soil and start creating an awesome lively growing space I don't know, I don't know what's going through in my brain today maybe I've given you some inspiration to get down your allotment plot yourself whack a bit of manure or something on your beds it's been an absolute pleasure today while I've been putting my horse manure on my beds and just having a great time down the allotment for now. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Honestly I look like a right mess after doing that but listen to this right I've come up with the second verse of the song right Wendy you're not very bendy but you can lend me a helping hand and Wendy I know you are rusty but you can trust me to work the land <laughs> it's coming together guys Wendy the wheelbarrow maybe I'll release it as a Christmas song